Okay, we're going to be looking at expansion this time. Now, we talked about a few examples. We've seen a few examples in class about expansion, which is really nice. Uh, the thing about expansion is the particles are gaining more energy, and they're not actually getting bigger themselves, but they get more energy, they vibrate, and they end up spreading out a little bit more. And when they spread out, it makes the substance look like it's getting bigger or increasing in size or volume. The key point is, as particles are heated, they gain energy and vibrate, spreading out more, causing the spaces between them to increase. That's called expansion. The opposite is called contraction. If you cool the substance down, the particles lose energy, they don't move as much, the spaces between them decreases, and the overall volume kind of starts to get smaller. So you can think about like a basketball. A basketball in the winter time if it gets really really cold the basketball feels like it's flat it doesn't bounce as high but the air isn't leaking necessarily inside but the particles inside the basketball the particles of air inside the basketball have less energy and so they don't spread out as much and so the basketball feels flatter in the summertime those same particles they move around more they take up more space, they expand, the spaces between them increase, and they end up hitting the sides of the inside of the basketball more, and that is what causes it to be more bouncy. So it's expansion and contraction. So note, it is not that the particles are expanding themselves. It's the spaces between them that are expanding. Here you could take a quick experiment like this. You could heat this iron bar. Solids also expand when you heat them up, and then you'll find the iron bar no longer fits into the holder. Same situation here. You have a boiling tube here with a little bit of ink or colored water. If I heat it up, a safe way to heat this up is just to put it in some boiling water and I'll notice that the ink level actually rises. Doesn't that look like a thermometer? In fact, that's exactly how a thermometer works. So there's not extra ink, but the ink's volume is actually increasing because of expansion when it heats. Same thing, see if you can understand what's going on in this particular diagram here. This is an empty flask with air and by heating it with the hands, the air expands and the bubbles get pushed out a little bit. Yeah. This is the a little experiment. If you search on YouTube for something called ice bomb, here's the link here, uh, ice bomb. What actually happens, the special thing about water is that when water freezes, it expands. That's very special. See if you can figure out why. And when that actually freezes, it actually can cause some pretty scary things to actually happen. So check that out. So note here, it's liquid that's expanding. This is showing solid expanding, and this is showing gas is expanding. The spaces are what increases. Here's a little diagram that it just is showing how particles are spreading out. But because it's colored, and we did this in class, potassium permanganate crystals, they actually spread out. You can see the movement of liquid particles, and it looks like it looks very random. They're moving around each other. So you have particles from this material called potassium permanganate and you have particles from water and the way they interact and move around you can actually see the movement of particles we call that diffusion get that word down diffusion means particles move from a crowded area to a less crowded area another way to say that is Instead of saying crowded to less crowded, you can say particles move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. It's another way to say uh, crowded, basically, but it's more scientific. So, for example, if Tamako were to spray perfume from the corner of a room, if Yafi was standing right next to Tamako, then she would smell a very high concentration of perfume particles, whereas Jiyun at the other side of the room would not smell the perfume because there was a very low concentration but those particles will spread out they will spread out from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration so particles will move in that direction from high to low so Tamako sprays Yafi gets a nose full of perfume particles and she starts complaining Jiyun is standing at the other end because she doesn't smell it laughing at Yafi but eventually the particles will reach her too and she will also be sneezing and then Yafi can get back. Here's something very, very important. If you take like a plunger, here's someone's finger holding the end of a plunger. If we have a solid material inside here, pushing down on the solid, you cannot squash a solid. You cannot squash a solid, but that's kind of obvious to you. If you have something that's solid, you can't really squash it and change its volume. If you have liquid inside here, if this is water inside here, 
Notice the funny thing here is that you cannot actually squash liquid either. If you can't squash liquid, that tells you there's not very many spaces between the particles. So think about that when you draw your pictures as well. How about gas? When you have gas and you try to squash down, you can actually squash it down. But you can you can try to imagine this. If you push down, we'll do this in class too. If you push this down, it's going to become harder and harder to push this down. And you can think about that as if there are particles. The more you squash this, the more the particles move around. The faster they move, the more energy they have, and the more they bump into the sides, and the more difficult it is to actually squash that. Another way to say squashed is compressed. Solids cannot be compressed because there's no spaces in between. Same with liquids. Not much space. Same with uh, no, not the same, sorry. Gases can be actually compressed because there are more spaces in between them. Okay, there must be spaces in between. If you have some questions, make sure to post them on Edmodo. There's a lot about expansion and hopefully you got all this down in your notes. If not, go back, take your time, replay everything, and then find out what's going on. Okay, post your questions on Edmodo. Goodbye. Everybody say goodbye.